And now, your WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Caitlin Moffin. Good morning and a happy Tuesday. You probably sound like a broken record at this point with the continued haze, the air quality warnings, the wildfire smoke that just kind of is a constant at this point for the last several weeks. But this morning, we have a little bit of rain popping up with the Doppler and satellite as well. A quick short wave has been moving off to our east, and that has brought some quick showers to the Grand Marais area as well as folks across northwest Wisconsin. So at this point, those shower act activities are continuing to move south across Hayward, the Nemecoggin, the Winter area, the Solon Springs area. Ashton and Bayfield County just saw that thunderstorm this morning. It's now continuing to move south. Some of those cells are producing a little bit of lightning and even a few rumbles of thunder. Otherwise, spots off to our west and here in the Twin Ports were under dry conditions. It's just very gray outside. That air quality warning still stands until 3 o'clock for the Minnesota side. Notice it extends all the way down to southern Minnesota. And then for Wisconsin, it's about just the top half of Wisconsin, which is where that warning stands for those folks until the 12 o'clock hour this afternoon as well. So the gray skies that you're waking up to each morning. It's not overcast clouds. It is really just the smoke that's sitting in between the sun and us here at the surface. So we're not getting that crystal blue sky that we like to see every morning as the sun rises. So unfortunately, 66 degrees where we sit with continued wildfire smoke that is impacting your air quality. For those that live off to our west in Minnesota and for those that live on our east in Rhinelander, both spots are waking up with the category as the unhealthy no matter the group you're in. Now for the rest of us, you can see we're all under that orange category for right now, and this is your current unhealthy for sensitive groups. So if you are in those sensitive groups, being outside this morning for a long period of time is not recommended. We will see improvement in air quality this afternoon, not necessarily the haze. So at that point, it just becomes higher up in the atmosphere where it's not impacting your lungs as necessarily as it is this morning. So do expect sunny skies this afternoon, but the haze is going to help limit much of what you see in terms of that sun up in the sky this afternoon. Temperatures will warm this afternoon, stay mild overnight as our clouds will increase into your Wednesday. So while we stay dry for a good chunk of Wednesday, we're going to be under mostly cloudy here in the Twin Ports. Partly cloudy for those spots across Wisconsin where they will see some sunshine and temperatures will climb into those upper 80s. We'll be waiting a warm front and right behind that warm front is a cold front which will spark up those several chances for rain showers. These showers will move in early Thursday morning will hit a lot of dry air. So a lot of us will have trouble seeing those showers. As you can see here, it becomes very scattered by Thursday afternoon. And then that next wave moves in by Thursday evening. That's when here in the Twin Ports have that best shot at seeing some much needed rainfall. A few spots could see some thunderstorm activity. So we will keep an eye on that chances as well. And then those shower chances will continue into Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So much needed rain is on the way, but for right now, we're looking at warm temperatures with sunny skies again this afternoon. Obviously, keep in mind the haze. The haze is going to be that impact that we're going to see almost every day this week, if not even worse by Thursday. Temperatures tonight, very mild overnight, low 60s to a few upper 50s as those winds shift out of the southwest. Those southwest winds help with Wednesday's high temperature, the two approach upper 80s for almost everyone across the region. And then those shower chances, like I mentioned, do increase. Thursday all the way through Sunday, which is great. We haven't had a weekend, I said to you, in almost a full month or so that we've even seen rain. I know. So hopefully this is the weekend that we're coming hopefully. up to here. We really could we use it. it. Yes. In every part of our region, especially the Minnesota side. Exactly. So fingers are crossed, I guess. Stay tuned. Yeah. Thanks, Caitlin. Yep. Still, in case you're joining.